Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake On Exotics. We've got mega that in today, so we've got loads of little jobs we'll be doing. So we'll be on, we'll be on the reptile side today, a little less fishy, but we might have a dabble over that side so when we do feeding and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we'll have a good go on my side, we're checking all the new arrivals, uh, so we can do good feedings uh, and stuff like that. So we get everybody videos of everybody feeding today if we can. Uh, so um, we're all planned for the um, fossil adventure as well. So weather looks like it's going to be okay for Monday, but then Tuesday it's going to be horrible. So luckily, it looks like the fossil gods are on our side by the looks of it. But uh, fingers crossed we have a cracking day. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And I shall uh, see you in a bit. We've got Meg working really hard today. She's cleaning all the fighter tank for me. Because as you can tell, the light is that bright. Look at it, you can't see anything. It's just so bright. It's, it's producing that much algae, we have to clean it all the time. So, we can show you one of the dirty ones, and we can show you the ones Meg's clean, and you can see the difference. It's, it's next level difference. Look how much algae they produce, just from having these lights on for a couple of days. And then if we look at these ones, bing! <laughs> She's cleaned them all, they're all good. She's got two more to do. You're slacking, Meg, you've got two more to do. I'm only joking. Really good job, always a really good job. You see him cleaning the back, look. Look at that, cat finger work. So um, we can go through it all now, and then uh, when she's done, we'll show it when it looks like when it's all done. Meg, have you finished? Yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> What's she doing? What's she doing? Let's have a butcher's. Look at that, bing. Look how nice it is. We've got all different plants in it. So we've got the reserve one, which is a metallic dragon. And then we've just got the normal Siamese fighters. Lovely set of fighters we've got. For today, we'd have a look at the European idol. This is the babies that just came in. We'll uh, maybe talk about how to look after them and stuff like that. And then um, we we'll give them a spray and all stuff like that and how we're going to just do the checks on them for the day. So I believe he's down here. There he is. So we've got one in, hiding in this log they are. And I've got one somewhere else as well. Might both be in there. Oh, there he is. Oh, there we go. We need to turn this on, don't we? That's better. So... We have the UV lights on. So we go, so we've got the female up there. No, that's the male. The smaller one is the male, the bigger one is the female. She's just she's dipped now, she's dipped. So we've got one up there. So we took some locusts in, in a bit for him. See how they get on. And then um, we can give them a spray as well, because they like uh, a nice high humidity. Not super high, but about 60, 65 is... Um, it's on average for what they like because it's, it's only Europe, so it's not super wet or anything like that. So uh, I've got my spray. Calm down, mate. You're all right. You're all right. Go around, give him a spray. Nice and humid. He likes the humidity. Wow. There we go. So that's all sorted. Give them a nice little spray now. So uh, we need to make sure the humidity is a nice level. We need to make sure the heat's on. We need to make sure the UV light's on. They like a nice strong UV because they like to bask and they like a nice heat basking spot because they like to bask. So uh, they can go up on the log here. They can bask. They can chill. They can do anything they want. Um, they've got their water down here. Um, and we've got loads of multiple hides. They can hide in the log, under the log, in the cave I've made for them. There's loads of different stuff they can do. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. Doing amazing. I think they've dipped though. I don't know where he's gone. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Whoa, shot across. So uh, it's going to be a while before we get them time. But uh, we'll get some food ready. And then we can um, give them a feed. So there we go. We've got Meg. He's going to do some feeding. Mm. Where are they, Meg? Where are they? Where are they? I would oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, he's at the back. He's at the back. Hey. There he is. Hello, yes, it's dinner time. Yes, it is. Come get your dinners in. 
Go you get your dindins. That's it. Good lad. What's Meg got in the box? Eh? What's Meg got in the box? Whoa! That jumped straight to you. Oh. Jumped straight to you, that did. What a cracking creep. That uh, locust had a death wish. Kamikaze one. Where's the other one? Where's the other one hiding? That is the question. Oh, what's you doing there? Is that enough to ship us more? Yummy, yummy, yummy. That's plenty, I think. Don't want to go too mad. He loves it, there. He does. He loves it all. He absolutely loves it. What a good little lad you have. What about his little spots? All of his little spots as well. They should all turn blue. Mm. They'll lose some, but the ones that stay should turn blue. Yummy, 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 yummy. Look at that. Boshing the locust. I think the other one is in the cave hiding. I think because we're making noise, she's not coming out. Anti-social female one, I don't know. Male is proper keen. He's out and about, ain't you, mate? He is out and about. He does not care. So, the more we're out and about with him like this, he's going to get more and more time and stuff like that. And hopefully he'll be like even more time than the other European odd lizards was. So he's not really fussed about us at the moment. But I'm not going to do anything. So I could try and touch him or something like that. But we're not at the moment because we want him to think us with good stuff. So we need to build up that rapport a bit more. And then once we've got the good rapport with him, then we can start pushing the limits and trying to touch him and stuff like that. So at the moment, I think we're, we're doing it. I'm quite happy the way we're doing it. Just being with him while he's feeding, talking to him and stuff like that. Well, you spotted another one. And then um, they can just go, oh, he's got one, he's got one, has he got one? Whoa, look at it. You missed. Where is he? Where is he? Hey, there's one there, look. There's one that one. Good, good, good to the. Oh, he's in it. Look at that, he's on a rock boiler. He's got it. Oh, what a good lad. What a good lad. We'll leave him to it now. Then I've got to go serve some customers. He's having a good munch. Look at that, it's fighting back. Get him. Get it. Get it. Should have bit it on the head, not the bum. There you go, slowly eating him away. There we go, ram, 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 ram. He's trying to fight back. He's going to win, he's going to win. And I guess we're leaving to it, I'll go serve some customers. Okay, they only want to have a look around the shop, so we can come back and have a look at him feeding. Oh, he's a good lad, ain't you, mate? Oh, he's gone in the tunnel. Gone in, the, gone in his burrow. Eating his dinner. And I think the other one is down in this cave down here. But she'll come out later on. Or she might just be sat around chilling somewhere and we can't see her. But I believe that she's in there. So we need a nice basking spot for them. So mine's up there on top of the log. And you want it to be about um, 35 to 40 degrees. I think in the other way around, if you're in America, I think it's like 95 to 110. I might be slightly wrong, so double check my maths. But um, they're really cool little lizards. I think he's up there, I think there he is there. So uh, really cool little lizards. Um, the humidity is quite important as well, but the UV is really important as well, because they're diurnal. diurnal. That means they um, sleep at the night and they're out in the day. So um, they get loads of UV and stuff like that. So it's very important that we've got UV and we've got heat bulb. So we've got lots of heat, lots of UV and stuff like that, so they stay nice and strong and they build up nice healthy bones. Um, we want calcium on all their food, so on their um, locusts and Mario worms and all stuff like you feed them. Um, these ones won't be, able, if anything, they'll have uh, meal worms and um, locusts, but they they like the chase, so I'm most likely going to stay on locusts. Um, but there he is, look. Look, waiting for me. Is that there, Tilly? Look at him. What a little lad. He's good. I think the girl's about. <gasps> She's twice the size of him, the girl is. The girl is. Right over there, right over there in that little corner, there she is. I think she's popped out the other end of the log. So she's going all the way down from that one, going all the way along and out the other end. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. I've always, since I had him over there and fell in love with him, my dream was to have a pair. So I've got a baby pair now, so it's nice I can raise them up, maybe get some babies for the shop. You see, they're not labelled up or anything because I don't want to sell them. But um, obviously, if someone asked me the right price, I would consider it. But um, 
Yeah, I'm really happy with them. I think they're amazing. One of my f- new favourite lizards. Of, before I had him, never seen one before. I mean, I knew about them, but I've never had one or never done anything with them. Um, and I just fell in love with him. Really did. So I'm happy now. We've got these bad boys bobbing around, doing really well. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed they grow up and put me up some babies. Of oh, course, so we've got to catch Big Red now. He's going to his forever home. Come on, Red. Oh, he's a good lad. Here he is, 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 woo! Look at him going mental. He's a good lad, though. So we've got to put him in a snake bag. Again, we've got to put him in a poly box. And then we've got a little bit of paperwork to do. And then he's free to go to his new home. Ooh, he's a wiggly snake. Off he goes. <laughs> so we'll bag him up. Ooh, he's on, the, on top of the camera. Hey, stop stretching. So we'll catch him up now and put him in the bag. Oh, we'll have morning cuddles. Morning cuddles. We're all nice and green today. Showing off our colours. Big, the big male's a little bit less green. Female's very green. But uh, yeah, it's morning cuddles. Morning spooning. Doing really well. Everything's doing well. Waterfall's going into the hole. That's what we like. So it's going to go down there, it goes all the way down here, we've got all the moss on the side and all goes down lovely, so cuddles. Well, so he's gone now, finally found him a proper home, fingers crossed he doesn't come back. He doesn't want any more re-returns, we've already got a re-return. But um, fingers crossed now, we might be able to bring re-return down, put him in here, see if we can get him sold. It is a slightly smaller tank that I would prefer, but it's what I've got in the shop. Um, if not, I might try and get a bigger tank in and put him in that. But shall we get on and then um, might be able to bring re return down so we can find re return a good home. But then we'll, uh, we've got, we've uh, found one of the chameleons at home as well. So he was reserved. So we've got him left, we've got the one left. Just do one little chameleon. Look how small he is. He's only tiny. So uh, he's doing a lot better now than he's only the one. So the other one was the dominant one of the two. He was a bit bigger, a bit stockier. He used to throw his weight around and be like big displaying. He used to stress him out a bit. So now there's only the one on his own. It's going to be a lot better now. It's only been two days that they've been together. So, uh, but uh, no, three days. Three days they've been together. But he's looking great now. So fingers crossed we can um, keep him going, get him fed up a bit more, and then we can get him a good home. Ah, oh, so Meg's gonna look feed the dragons. We're gonna feed the dragons. Look, they're all ready. They're all ready. Oh, hello, lads. What oh, can I open the cage? Hello, mate. Hello's. It's okay. It's okay. Look what I've got in my box. Hey, look what I've got in the box. Go on, Meg. You can put him in so he's filming. He's like, he's like, oh, I'm ready for my dinner. Oh, look at that. Got a oh, 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 he's seen it, he's seen it. He's like, where's he gone? Whoa, yum, 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 yum. He's like, what's he missing out? What am I missing out on? Oh, 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 wow, 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 wow. We all loves our dinner, we do. We loves it, don't we, lads? Oh, there's another one. Quick, quick, fight, get, get it. Get, oh, you missed it. The little one missed it. Da- the dark one missed it. Quick, Meg, chuck him in, chuck him in. Before it escapes. Right, one's jumped out. We got it, we got it. Oh, it's another one. Quick, 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 quick. Yum, yum, yum. It's a good lad sharing, isn't it? You need some good lads. Meg just hoofing him in. <laughs> Might as well use the rest of his pocket. Hey, go. Yeah, bit. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for knocking the camera, it's all right. The camera's all right. But, uh, yeah, they're doing really well. I know, look at you. I know. We know you, you're beautiful. Here's your number one. Here you go. Are you going to take it off, mate? I'd be surprised if they did, Meg. Oh, 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 oh. No. It's too much choice. Two lovely bearded dragons doing really well. Yeah, some good lad. We're going to put some fresh veg in for him because this is from yesterday. We can't be having yesterday's veg, can we, lads? Yeah. It's unacceptable. Excuse me. So Meg's going to take out all the little bits they've knocked off. Move your tail. Oh, that bit went a bit funky. Yes. That's why he takes it out every day. 
just in case it gets moldy. We don't want any mold. So I believe the dark one is sat on top of a bit of tomato. Is he? I can see the red sticking out from under his bum. So you might have to give him a poke on the bum. Poke on the bum. Beep. Can you move your tushy, please? Please move your tushy. There you go, Meg. Thank you. Oh, no, he just wanders off. <laughs> you made me move, yeah? And then you just wanders off. I don't know. Now you touch my tushy, I'm off. They're doing really well now. So you can see we've got a nice big belly. Look at that belly. Nice big belly on the babies. I know, he's looking at your belly. I know, you has a wiggle. <laughs> but yeah, they're doing really well now. They're both putting on a nice little bit of timber. And we like a bit of timber. So uh, we'll leave these now. They're going to go around and have a rummage. Uh, we're going to get the last bits of uh, tomato out. And cucumber. And lettuce and all that ramen stuff we have on there. And then uh, everybody then is going to be happy and full bellies. And if Meg stops knocking the camera, <laughs> we'll be on a good start then. So I the think way. we'll leave them to it now and we'll go have a look at the baby chameleons. We're doing well today. We've managed to find um, Red Corner Home, which is fantastic. Well, we're well happy with that. It means we can bring someone else down and try and get them a home. And they um, managed to, one of the chameleons went as well today. So we're, we had the two in there, but I wasn't too happy on having the two. Um, it was okay for temporary, it was only like two, three days, but yeah, I wouldn't have any longer than that and I'd have separated them 100% because it was, the one was starting to like flare up and starting to display on the dominant one and the other one then would become the bait and we'd get less food and stuff like that, so that's not acceptable. So uh, we'll have a little look at him now, he's right down at the bottom by the water bowl, so he might have had a, gone down and had a drink, he might have got a bit warm and decided he wanted to go in the cooler area, so we'll have a look at him now, see how he's doing. Um, He's got locusts in there, so I think he's probably had a feed already. But we'll have a look, and then tomorrow we might be able to catch him feeding. But we did feed him, seeing the feed when we brought him, because he had one of the crickets. But um, we'll have a look at him now, and we'll have a butcher's. If he is down the bottom. Hello, mate. How are you? You've been playing in the water? You've been having some paddles, paddling in the water? Have you? Oh, you're a good lad. We need to clean the bottom of your tank, don't we? It's all full of shed and stuff. You're going to come out? No, you're going to go for a wonder. You're going for a wonder. You want me to put you back up? I'll put you back up there. Yeah? How's that sound? Want me to put you back up the top? You want to walk on my finger? No? No? Come on, buddy. Let me pick you up. Come on, mate. Come on, buddy. There we go, look. You can go moody, I know, I know. There you go, look. That's better, isn't it? There we go. Who's a good lad? So we've got his, we've got his UV light. We've got his, no, we've got his heat lamp and we've got his UV light. He's had his eight hours today, it's coming towards the end of the day now. So we don't go too mad with the UV, especially while they're young. Um, so eight hours a day is absolutely fine. So um, he's got him, he's chilling there now. He's been having locusts, he's been having crickets, but we will stop on the crickets as soon as he's big enough to eat the locusts solo. Um, they have uh, calcium with D3 on everything. Oh, I'm just smashing the tank. Um, and then the dripper is very important. So it's literally, it's stopped at the moment. So we've got to top it back up. And then um, we've got to empty the bowl it drips into as well. Obviously, we don't overflow in. And then um, we spray all this as well. Anything that's leafy, we spray with the water and get it all covered with droplets of water. Helps with humidity, helps with um, somewhere for them to drink and stuff. But what I found with uh, the drippers, I like to have it come down and drip onto a vine. So it drips about here and then drips off into the bowl. So that means they can come walk along here and get dripped on. So I think that's a better than it just, because if it's just dripping down in the middle and going to not touching anything, it's kind of a bit pointless, isn't it, really? So I want to hit as many things as it can on the way down. So then you can stop and have a drink at different places if he wants to. But this one looks like he went all the way down and had a drink out of the bowl. So I've only ever had one chameleon who did that before. Um, so this might be the second one that decides he's, he's happy to drink out the standing water as well. Um, yeah, they're really good. 
Reptibris tank kit. Came with the lights, the UV, some vines and stuff. It came with the one plant, but I always had extra plants because it's a bit, it'd be very open if we didn't. And I always block off the back side and the one side, especially while they're young. This one's just, this side's just fell down. But, um, you know what, can I get it back up with one hand? There we go. So, yep, doing really well, really happy with them. The, uh, the older one, the slightly larger one has gone now for his, to his forever home. And, uh, yeah, you can just see the tip of his tail. Just the tip of his tail. So, uh, he's going to chill in there now. We'll leave him be because we don't want to stress him out too much. But um, we need to interact with him a tiny bit because we need to get him used to, used to us being around. So, uh, we'll crack on and see if anyone else wants to say hello. New animals coming in on boarding. First time I've ever had snails. So, we've got African giant land snails. And Meg's just give them some veg and they're having a munch. So we'll have a butcher's. And I think we got Richard and Rosie, if I remember right. Richard and Rosie. So uh, we'll have a butcher's and we'll have a look. Here we go. We got Richard and Rosie. Oh, look at Rosie coming out of the shop. Come on, Rosie, it's dinner time, look. Look at all the food. Richard's out there. Yes, look at that. He's fully out. Looking for some munch. You having a munch on you? Oh, Meg's got more. We've got more stuff. We've got a bit of water for him. So with the snails, we've got a cocoa fibre and moss substrate. We've got um, lettuce for food. We've and got cucumber. And cucumber. I missed that. Uh, we've got a cuttlefish for calcium. We've got a nice water bowl. He's got a bark hide and some decor and some wood. Really, really nice. Most likely springtails in here as well, but I can't see many. But he hasn't got any mould, so that makes me think he's got springtails. They're probably just hiding in the substrate somewhere. But um, perfect little enclosure for them. They'll be happy in here. Um, when they get to full size, sometimes it's better to get a slightly deeper one. Just because he's going to be about that tall with the shell. So uh, he's about half grown. So there he is next to me. It's about half grown he is. It normally gets like like that sort of size. So uh, yeah, doing really well. He's got an albino, and he's got a normal or a jade. Sometimes they call him jade. But yeah, really well, really happy. So I think we'll end up calling it a day there. Then we'll finish it with the snails. So I did say we was gonna end it, but I thought we'd try and feed the catfish. So. Woo! Did it a little bit earlier and he was alright, didn't take my fingers off, so we'll try it again. You never know, we might lose some fingers. <laughs> okay. Come on, eh, catfish? Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yum. Wow. Whee, that's good, isn't it? What else have we got in the tub? Do you want another one? Like Do you want another one? What have I got here? What's that? What's that? Yum, yum, yum. He's doing really well, really, really well. He's coming along, he's settled in now, he's eating all the time. Uh, he's almost eating too much now, so we're trying to chuck the food in at it. But uh, fingers crossed he's going to do okay. So we'll do it one more. You want to come watch us feed the fish, bud? So I've had a customer come in, so I thought he'd come and watch the fish. See him? How's that catfish? Come on in, buddy. Cool, isn't it? What kind of catfish is that one? That's a red-tailed catfish, that is. Uh, I don't know a lot. Yeah, four and a half metres he gets. But he's a really, really nice little fish. So we look after him, we try and find him a good home, and then, uh, fingers crossed, everything's okay. But uh, I think that's going to do now. I think that, everybody gone? Is that all gone? Yeah. yeah that's all my fish is gone. So, uh we got a full tummy. Happy catfish. Okay then everybody, we're all done and dusted. Meg's finishing off covering up all the um, the tanks with the polystyrene, which we do on the night to keep it all warm. Like that, see? There we go, so that's what we do, keep them all warm on the night time. We put all polystyrene sheets up. Well, hello Meg. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. If you'd like to watch another video, there should be a box there. If you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, it's up there. And if you want to watch a playlist with loads of videos, it's up there. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.
Fossil until Monday. Woo!